I know this is the preaching to the choir moment, but it's truly this. And, and I'm convinced that Donald Trump's floor and ceiling are about the same thing. Democratic vice presidential candidate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, speaking to union workers in Saginaw. He believes high early voting numbers are coming from new Harris voters rather than Trump supporters. Michigan is expected to be a key state this November, and both campaigns have been making stops across the state over the past few days. TV5 Zane Omer has more on Walz's visit to a Buena Vista church this morning. Time is ticking to the November election, and today, Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walls made his plea to voters here at Victorious Believers Ministries in Saginaw County. The folks don't need to hear a sermon from their elected officials, but they should expect us to try and live one. When I hear Kamala Harris talk, I would make the case that what she's proposing is her living her faith, which she learned as a young girl, that she's living the faith that you hear in this space of caring for one another. Democratic vice presidential nominee, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, speaking to churchgoers at Victorious Believers Ministries Sunday. I feel like unity and just holding true to heart the diplomatic values that we're all supposed to be emboldened with, I feel like those are all really important things that he highlighted. Just that they love the Lord and just want to do what's right, just to straighten the country. Walls addressing leadership, faith, and responsibility to be a good steward to others. My faith is very clear. My faith tells me to care for the poor. Not to rig the system for the wealthy, but to care for the poor. It tells me to tend to the sick, not to make it harder for those folks to get the care that they need. And this one, it tells me very clearly to welcome the stranger if they're yourself, not to demonize them and make them feel unwelcome or unsafe. I spoke with several people in attendance who told me they were happy to see the vice presidential candidate make a stop in Saginaw County. They're just honest people. It just seemed to be there, just honest people. I think it's really important that you have people in, that are supposed to be in power or for, trying to be in power. Um, just really find a way to connect with other um, people in like the community, um, but also be able to fellowship and come and, you know, praise the Lord like with other people as well. The speech comes as the presidential race continues to be a close one in Michigan. According to the latest CBS News polls, whether Vice President Kamala Harris or former President Donald Trump will win the battleground state is a toss up. I recognize the separation of the secular from our spiritual side, but you can't separate what you learned and how you see people and how you care and how you worship from how you live your life. If you're able to put aside what you learn in this space and go to govern and forget all that, I, I guarantee you're not going to be very good at it. Um, you're not going to be for the people. In addition to Walls, Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist and Saginaw Mayor Brenda Moore were also in attendance today. In Saginaw County, Zane O'Mare, WNEM TV 5.